Once an initial proposal is presented, there are some clients who often ask me, Bob, what can we do to control the cost of this project? Maybe bring the cost down, but still end up with the same quality. Hi everyone, Bob Galise with OneManAndAHammer.com. Unfortunately, reducing the cost of a project, you've got to get rid of some quality. You, you've got to cut corners somewhere. It's not something that One Man and a Hammer likes to do, and it's not something that I have done throughout my career. Uh, but bottom line is, there are times when you can cut some corners, but you've got to be careful what corners you're cutting. If you're, for instance, if you're looking at plumbing and maybe going with a less expensive faucet for that new bathroom uh, lav sink, um, sometimes the, the, the guts of that new faucet are going to be plastic instead of copper or brass. And as we all know, plastic, if you have kids, they're, they get pretty brutal on things, and those gonna, they're going to break on you. You're going to be forever repairing that. Um, when you start cutting corners on a project, unfortunately, you also cut the lifespan of that project. So be very, very careful not to, not to fall into that dark hole of somebody saying, yeah, we can cut this out, we can cut that out, and let's get rid of the, the tile backer board, and let's just go with green board. Because bottom line is, you're going to be redoing that project again um, in very short order, and that's really not what you want to do. You want to finish the project in a professional manner. Spend as much as you can spend. If you can't afford a quality job right now, hold off. I have many times counseled my clients to wait another year. Don't cut corners. You're going to have to redo it. You're going to spend the money today or tomorrow. How's that old saying goes? Uh, how's that old saying go? Pay me now or pay me later. It's very true in this industry. So be very, very careful. Don't become a statistic. We don't want to see you on NBC's Dateline of one of the people who got ripped off by a contractor. So watch what you're doing. Make sure you don't try to cut corners too much and everything's going to be fine. Make sure you deal with a quality contractor. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next week.